Can you hear me? I can. All okay. right, I can, I can hear you. Great. Okay. Hello and welcome to Winthrop, Massachusetts for the finale of this three-game set between the Boston Blades and the Vancouver Rays. The Rays have taken games one and two, with the Blades looking into this game with a little bit more confidence on this Tuesday night. Hello again, I'm Max Walpoff, joined alongside by Sean McLean for tonight's contest. And Sean, the Blades came out firing that first game. They were able to hold a one nothing lead for the majority of it. Then a few things just didn't seem to go Boston's way for the rest of the weekend. A poor start on Sunday against Vanka uh, really doomed them. Uh, that, that late goal with about four minutes to go in the first period, uh, and, and you didn't think it was too bad at that point. Then the two quick goals to open the second period, and all of a sudden it was 3 nothing Vanka. And, you know, the team battled back a couple times, but it never really felt like Vanka lost control of that game. And I think the team needs to work a little bit more, the Blades that is, on controlling the tempo of the game, playing their style, and playing to their strengths. And with those strengths, some of that comes in their camaraderie as a team. A lot of them played together in college, and many of them played against Elaine Chuli, who is the likely starter for Vanka into today's game. Chuli was the goaltender at UConn, undisputed number one for four years in a row. But Megan Greaves had a couple of great games against her, as well as college teammates Kate Leary. So there is some familiarity, and there is a bit of a scouting report on the starting goaltender. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned Megan Greaves, and Megan Greaves was noticed to be one of the best players out there for Boston on Sunday and Saturday. She was flying all over the ball, flying all over the ice, all kinds of opportunities, just couldn't finish them. I spoke to her after the game as well, and she just mentioned that she needs to, as well as the whole team, need to work on finishing some of those chances. I mean, they put 56 shots on net on Saturday. I mean, at, on uh, Sunday, that at, is. at some point, 56 shots on goal should be enough to get more than two on the board, but sometimes that's just not the way it falls. No, I mean, that's just the sad nature of the game that they play. <laughs> well, welcome to the nature of sports where you can try all you want, but you're not guaranteed anything. Well, the best team doesn't always win, but it's the team that wants it more that always wins. And with that, Vanka comes into today 3-1 and one this season. They actually currently place in the CWHL at, at a fourth in their expansion season as the officials are set to take the ice as teams will soon follow. But this is a big game for the Blades. If they can pull two sta standings points out, they'll be out of the basement of the CWHL standings. Yeah, I mean, Vanka surprised a lot of people with being an expansion team and having the success they've had. The Blades really need to make a statement in this game. They're, they're winless. They had a real good chance to win it on Saturday, didn't finish it out. Uh, they need to prove something. This is your third opportunity. You've had two looks at this team. You should know enough about the goalie and about the forwards and the defense where you can at least game manage yourself into getting a win here. And speaking of the forwards and the defense, for the Rays, throughout the two games this weekend, we've seen that Vanka's head coach, Rob Morgan, relies on a steady stream of maybe 11 of their roster players. They don't use the full bench like the Blades do. Yeah, that's because they have a lot of top-heavy talent. I mean, yes, uh, on, sat on Sunday you watch uh, players like Brooke Webster and Ashley Bracaliuk and uh, Rose Aleva. You know, those are the names that really stood out as well as Ka Kaylee Mercer. Uh, just so much top-heavy talent on the Rays that, you know, they maybe, they maybe they don't need to rely on the bottom forwards and defense as much as other teams will. The Blades need to play to their strengths, which is depth and they need to use that for their benefit in terms of conditioning and the fatigue factor that comes into playing a, a hockey game. And this is the third game in three nights and with the cross-continental travel that the Rays had, we would have we would have expected that the, that the Blades would have had a little bit of home ice advantage with that, but the Rays have come in and they've taken a lot of control, especially after Sunday. Absolutely, but I think the day off that both teams had yesterday will help a lot. The Blades get to clear their mind of the a couple losses, especially the bad one that happened on Sunday. And Vanka takes a step back and maybe gets to you know view what they did well offensively as well as defensively. So this should be a good game. Both teams should be ready and expect a good one. And potentially the Blades have a good chance of winning this one. We'll send it now down to PA announcer Mark Cowley for player introductions for today's game.
just about set to get underway. Back from Lawrence Larson Rink. Lauren Dunn will start tonight's contest for the Boston Blades. Came in in relief on Sunday after on Sunday afternoon's game, facing 23 shots and giving up three goals in the loss to the Rays. And in net for the Rays will be the Waterford, Ontario native Elaine Chuli, her rookie season here in the CWHL and a decorated career at the University of Connecticut. Starters for the Boston Blades include players we talked about in the open, Megan Greaves and Kate Leary, both of them in the starting lineup with Aaron Hall, Courtney Turner, and Jordan Hampton. Opposing them for the Rays will be Emily Janiga, Emma Woods, Brooke Webster, Lauren Kelly, and Rose Oliva on rounding out the, the starting lineup. Virtually the same starting lineup we saw both days. The puck is down. Let's have a little fun here on this Tuesday night in Boston. Election night and municipal elections as we will not be giving updates as to the results. You can check your local news stations for that. Courtney Turner sends this one deep around, but Megan Greaves will harass Oliva into a pass to Janiga. Leary is able to hold it in along the wall when Mercer takes it away. And moving back up ice are the Rays. Flies away from Jordan Hampton. Hampton of Foxborough, Massachusetts native in her first CWHL action. On Sunday, the Blades did a very good job of establishing passing, zone, passing lanes to the neutral zone. And they look to be doing the same here. And Courtney Turner sends it on end. The first chance for Kate Leary, and she gets another one as it banks off of her legs. Held in a little bit by Drew Burns, but first two, it will be the Rays. And off the bench, Michelle Ng cuts off the chance to get out, but Emma Woods will send her packing into the defensive zone. Ng will head back, loses control at the blue line. This will be taken away by Janiga, as she'll move away and get it just by Aaron Kickham as it moves into the near side boards. Oliva sends it back for her defense partner. And around the other side where Drew Burns can't control, it'll be no icing as the referees rule that they could have played with it. Christina Brown sends it around. It banks off of Ashley Bercalia. Now that's Hannah Bunton. You'll hear both of their names called a lot tonight for the Rays. Certainly heard it a lot on Sunday. As UA spins it around. Here's Mercer hammering it back around the boards for UA once again. Back up and down the near side again. Held in and Sako Kikuchi sends it back to the other side of the table. 18.26 to go in this first period. Thank you for joining us on the Boston Blades YouTube channel. And playing with it now is Caitlin Sperling, held in at the side. And Sperling is not able to get away from Mercer and Bunton, but this pass just gets to the blue line and no farther. It finally gets to Caitlin Sperling at the red line, and she is spun around. Chelsea Goldberg will control it now. Goldberg over it across as Kikuchi takes it lower. For Goldberg again, a tip on net, and Chuli had to make a save to the corner and Kittredge will hold it in at the line. The Blades get a chance to set up. This one banks off a couple of skates and back the other way, Mercer will take it, bank it off the wall and we'll find Oliva. Like I Up. said, you're seeing the Blades establish the neutral zone well, getting into the offensive zone. Not a whole lot of chances for the Rays as we're two and a half minutes into this first period as Aaron Hall sends it back the other way, Courtney Turner, her second crack at the puck. Aaron Hall sends it back the other way as Leary and Greaves try to keep it in control for the Blades. First to it will be the Rays. Sheenan sends it back up around the other side. As it comes below us here. Kate Leary, now Courtney Turner can't hold it in at the line. And Aaron Hall will send it all the way down. And Elaine Chuli, the te UConn team record in saves in a season, in a save percentage in a season, career saves and saves in a game both regulation and triple overtime. Decorated goaltender with the Huskies. And she'll survey, the, uh, survey her options as her defense finally brings it up ice as Janiga and loses control to Hampton. Spinning around and getting it away as Greaves. 
Leary heads back to her side. Both her and Janiga fall, but the pass comes for Emma Woods. Woods sends it down. Now the Rays get getting their first look at a confident setup here as Aaron Hall gets it away momentarily. First to it is Webster. Webster once again along the wall. Pass skips over her stick for Sheena and sent on net and Janiga with a tip wide of Lauren Dom. This one gets away from everybody and Aaron Hall will be the first one to it. Hall a five for three defender out of Pembroke, Massachusetts. This one is sent down and Ray's call for icing. It's too short. And Nicole Giannino will get a tip on it and force the Rays back to their side. As Sheena has to spin away from pressure again and Giannino cuts it off. Now the Blades setting up their attack on net and high as Wasil gets her first crack at Elaine Shuley and Shuley wins round one. Yeah, just like we expected so far, Max, just high intensity right out of the gate. Blades come out flying and very much like Sunday, you're seeing Vonka just playing on defense most of this first period so far, just in the first five minutes. 15.48 to play now in this first period as Aaron Kickham brings us forward. We'll send it back along the wall. Drew Burns can't control in the zone. She'll see the line and Christina Brown will take it for Drew Burns as well. Sent into no one in particular, but it ends up on the stick of Aaron Kickham who will slide into the boards. Lauren Kelly able to take it away for Vonka. Back to the far side as Mercer has a tip away from her. Now Mercer gets it back once again. The Clarkson University product will skate in on another Clarkson product in Lauren Dom. This shot comes and it goes nowhere. Bertalia gets her first crack at it. Back in front for Bunton. Couldn't keep it on her blade long enough. Michelle Ng, that's for Taylor Wasilk, back for Ng, and they'll come through center with, with Aaron Kickham. Kickham on net and rides a stick into the safety netting and out of play. 15 minutes even left to play in this first period. The Blades controlling much of the run of play and keeping the action away from Lauren Dom. Which is what they need to do. We, you know, we've said that, that that's what they have to do. They have to play to their strengths and that's controlling the puck in the neutral zone and establishing pressure in the attacking zone. As Kikuchi able to hold off Minghu long enough just to get her defense back in set as she dumps it into the defensive zone. A fortunate break for the Blades as Harris now has a stick slash from her. Harris along the wall, unable to control and it's held in for the Rays momentarily. Harris gets her footing back and is able to get it just to the line. Back for Minghu once again, gets a around Kikuchi, but three blades converge on her and Dom pounces on the puck to stop play. That's a great example of team defense right there, collapsing on the puck. 14.30 to play in this first period. The finale of a three game and four night set, the next time these teams meet will be in Shenzhen, China on the 19th of December and also on the 20th on the back end of Boston's week long trip to the People's Republic. Aaron Hall on the hash mark sends it on. Janiga cuts off the pass, sent on net. Dom with a save, another rebound, and it's cleared out of there. First for Kelly, a chance back in front, and they will score. Just a broken play there. A block shot that happens to wind up right in the favor of a Vonka player. I don't know who picked up the goal, but that's just those are just the plays that we've seen happening to the Blades all season, and they got to minimize those mistakes like that. Bit of bad luck off the shot from Lauren Kelly. Can and come down to a bounce of the puck. Well, it's one nothing Vonko once again. The second time they've scored the first goal in this series. As Wasilk plays it back. As Wasilk plays it deep now. Unable to control is Avison. Getting around the defense is Brooke Webster. Now out for Janigo once again. Webster looking for the chance at net and a sliding block from Avison puts a stop to that. Avison off the boards and to the blue line held in by the Rays and they set up their attack. Webster for Janiga gets around her opposite number counterpart back around the boards and Dom still has her stick and is able to keep control with the blades as Avison loses her stick in the process. Hall losing control now Oliva with a chance. Wasilk as she's able to keep it along the near side of Janiga. To the far side, and Kelly keeps it for Webster. They have to see the line with Wasilk all over her. Powering this play up is Hannah Bunton, the Belleville, Ontario native. She's cut off by Jordan Hampton. And getting to it first will be Ashley Bracaliuk. 
Kaliuk along the wall, bodied off by Greaves, and now Hall spinning right into Bunton, losing control of the puck. So Kaliuk once again, and unable to get around Courtney Turner this time. Through center, and UA will control momentarily. Courtney Turner comes in offside. You're seeing the play slow down a little bit. The energy taken out of the game after that goal uh, against the Blades. And the Blades need to really settle this down, recover, and kind of get that energy back they had to start this game. 12.51 to play in this first period. We're happy you've joined us on the Boston Blades YouTube channel. Flying back up ice are the Vonka Rays with a one nothing advantage to their name. Looking for a weekend sweep as this one is into the crease and Dom stops it before any more damage could be done. Twelve thirty-eight to play Lauren Dom, a second year goaltender out of Clarkson University. She was part of the Golden Knights first trip to the NCAA tournament in 2010. In the years since, the program has won two NCAA championships, representing the ECAC conference. 12.30 to play and down along the near side. Christina Brown pokes it up for Kaliuk, takes it away, cuts to the middle, sent on net, and Turner with enough of a block on it to catch it to the side. For Kaliuk once again, as Kelly hammers this one hard, and Turner gloves it down, and will play it up for Greaves. Greaves along the wall, gets it through the defense, and for Kaliuk will get to it first. Ashley Bercaliuk out of Brandon, Man Manitoba, a Minnesota Duluth product, loses this one at the blue line, and now Kate Leary flies up ice with it. Leary spins away on the side for Michelle Ng, cutting to the middle backhand chance, kicked out by Chuli. Greaves looking for a lane to the front, and Leary couldn't tap it. Kikuchi with a pinch, she'll hold it in, and now Leary spinning with it, thrown on net and wide of Chuli, and now they'll chase in the corner once again. Leary for Kittredge. Held in, thrown toward the net, and looking for a tip, none came. It's Leary cutting it off in, t in tandem with Megan Myers. Myers looking for Ng, but this one floats away for another co-captain in Minghu. Cut off by Kikuchi again at the line. That's another star defensive play from the Japanese national. Now down along the near side, Ng once more, looking for Hampton. Through the center and finds nobody, and it'll find icing for the Rays. Eleven oh nine to play. The Blades unable to change on this exchange. The Rays opt not to change their personnel. Faceoff one back by the Blades. Hall taking it to the corner boards. One away, Webster losing control to Ng and back for Webster again before Megan Myers can come up with it. Myers with one of two goals last yesterday for the Blades in that second period of action. Woods to the center and kicked out by Dom. Sent around and first one to this is going to be Jordan Hampton, member of the North Dakota Fighting Hawks for four seasons. 138 career games played at, at UND. That's but part, of a, but part of that proud program's final team. Woods losing control to Caitlin Sperling. Sperling now looking for a, a friendly stick in Wasilk, unable to find her, and Webster slings it down the ice, and the Rays get a chance to change. This will find Drew Burns. Yeah, the Blades, the Rays definitely could have used that after the couple great shifts the Blades put on there in the last few minutes. It's Caitlin Sperling losing control of the puck, and Bercaliuk will take it away. Bercaliuk, hard to find one taller than her on the ice as she stands a good five foot eight. As Drew Burns now, along the wall, able to get control, spinning for Nicole Giannino. Wasilk backhands it out of the zone and off away from Lauren Kelly. This will not be icing as they ruled that Kelly might have been able to play it. Came out of the crease just a tiny bit. Uh, Chuli as well on that one. Up for Hannah Bunton. Bunton for Mercer. Mercer, one on three, sends it on net and Brown with a shot block. Giannino. And off the boards goes the Holy Cross product. This will hence send Cross Creek for UA. Chelsea Goldberg now fresh off the bench finds Megan Myers with it. Myers serving as the captain for this Boston Blades squad today. Goldberg sends it around, eludes Myers. Kikuchi pinching in and is able to hold it the corner boards as Avison takes her spot, but a penalty is coming up. 
It'll be interference as we await the call. Probably something down along in the boards there, Max. Probably, I'm just waiting to see who heads into the box. It'll be Zhao Qinan for the Rays, as the Rays lose one of their top defenders, a four-year team product, uh, a four-year team China product, as the Blades go one to the good for two minutes, with 9-11 to play in the first. Big opportunity for the Blades here. The power play did really well on Sunday. Lots of great opportunities. Not a great start here as Kaylee Mercer is able to take it all the way down and fling it 200 feet. Hang along the side now as Courtney Turner comes up with it. The number one overall draft pick in 2017 is cut off by Emma Woods. Held in is Drew Burns, gets a shooting lane, and Leary can't tap it past Chuli. Held in by Hampton, sends it around, trying to find Turner, and said Greaves will take it away. Greaves sends a ray to the ground. And Burns just able to poke it to center away from Emma Woods, who forces her to the left side. Sent on net and wide of Lauren Dom. A minute 18 to play in this penalty as Bunton skates in shorthanded. Couldn't find a shooting lane there as four sticks converged on her. Yeah, not the size of the power play that the Blades were looking for here. They need to work it to the points and they're not able to do that. Some great jobs closing off the passing lanes by Vanka in the attacking zone. Greaves now with speed through center. Greaves losing control at the slot and is sent all the way down into Dom's crease and she'll play it back for Aaron Hall. Hall, a senior captain at the Holy Cross Crusaders team who will go Division I in a couple of years. Sends it up for Ng and they'll find Megan Greaves, the Boston College product. To the center, looking for a lane, finds it and a tip in front from Caitlin Sperling. Great idea by Greaves there. Great idea, doesn't come to fruition. 30 seconds left to play in the penalty to Zhao Qinan for the raise as the Blades seeing this first power play opportunity peter out. Blades coming into today's game four for 21 on the power play. Eng sends it on net, kicked out by Elaine Chuli. To the corner, 15 seconds to gone by left in the period. Brown, now for Hall. Hall winds and fires, gloved down by Chuli, and we'll have a stoppage with seven seconds left in the advantage and 7.17 to go in the first. That was easily the best look of the power play, Max. Taylor Hall, excuse me, uh, Hall there, my bad. About to say, Taking huh? back to the New Jersey Devils. My apologies there on that one. For Aaron Hall, got a great look over there down in the low dot. Great shot there on Thule. This faceoff is along the boards and first two will be Caitlin Sperling. Sperling losing control in the lines and skates. Chinon's out of the box, we're back at even at full strength. Brown shot is blocked by the escape Chinon and now Hall sends it for Brown. Blades will break back in, but only as far as the top of the faceoff circle. Woods for Bakaliuk. Bakaliuk again, getting by Kickham. And will send it to the center for Mercer. To the shot, to the slot, Janiga, and it's in Dom's back. Great he keeps save. it out. Another acrobatic save from the Baldwinsville, New York native. She has really had to play well for the Blades in this entire series against Banca. And Dom has stood on her head on almost every opportunity that the Blades have needed her to. Just a few that she's been, that she couldn't get to, but that one she was able to stop, keep the Blades in it, this one. And the Blades being signaled that they are unable to change. The Blades being outscored in every period thus far this season, but their lowest margin is in this first period. They're only ha they now have a seven to three margin, the opponents in the lead at that point. The Rays now with a three to two margin in their favor in first period scoring. Here's Taryn Harris with the puck as she's dispossessed. And the Rays once again getting a chance, looking for Woods, can't find her. A spinning back will be Brooke Webster. Webster for Chinan, center point shot and it sprinkles all the way to Dom, but she's able to keep the door shut. You're hearing that narrative a lot, Max. Lauren Dom really keeping the blades in it right now because defense can't get it out of the neutral zone or the attacking zone. And it seems after that power play, a good penalty kill for the Rays has put them right back in it, at least as far as possession numbers go. Yeah, I Face think that's up. been part of the One back scoring. off the pipe and out of the rink. Another great look for the Rays right there. It's a little hard to send a puck over the netting here at Lawrence Larson Rink as it does wrap around, but it sometimes if you can get one just at the right angle, it'll send it out. A hard ringer off the crossbar will do that one. <laughs> and 
Turner is sent out. O'Leary will take the face off instead. She will end up in the skates of Berkaliuk and Berkaliuk will take it away, but Turner first to it for the Blades. Held along the near side, back to the center, Greaves. Will say, send it all the way down and this one is going to be icing when Oliva gets to it. It was Oliva, a wed Red Wing, Minnesota native. She played two, uh, 2010 and 2014 with the Princeton Tigers. In 115 games, she had nine goals, 30 assists. She has no points thus far in this CWHL season. I think you were saying in the early part of the broadcast, Oliva really was one of the standouts so far. And you could tell that some quality coaching, learning a lot during her time at Princeton. Valeri losing control for Boston and back up comes Vanka. Bunton sends it off the boards, but first two is Wassil cutting it off. Wassil looking for some open space. For Kaliuk gets back. Leary with some space. She sends it on net, looking for the tip. Wassil can't get it. Leary can't get the backhand chance. Sets it back to the net. Greaves. Now Leary again. Greaves wins this puck battle. And now back for Leary. Berkaliuk is there to take it away. Back to the center. The Blades unable to control the offensive zone for very long. Just about five minutes and some change to go as Kaylee Mercer comes in toward the net and shot saved by Dom saved rebound by chance Dom. and back in front Dom is able to cover and stop play with 510 to go stop me when you've heard this before Lauren Dom is really keeping the blades in this one really I should stop all the presses <laughs> right now in other news water is wet yeah the sun is hot and it's also setting at 430 here on the east coast Face off one back and Mingu with a chance there. sliding block Chelsea Goldberg. Fantastic by Goldberg right there. And her tip gets it out of the zone as Yue is spinning away from pressure from Goldberg. Yue a chance up ice and is held off along the boards. Wasso and now hammered back toward the net. Ends up in the equipment of Kelly Kittridge. Back to the center. Goldberg banks it off a skate and it'll find the stick of Caitlin Sperling. Sperling. Her shot toward the net is blocked by Chi but Chuli opts to cover. And she'll stop play, an offensive zone draw coming for Boston. This comes back to what I was saying in the early part of the broadcast, Max. The Blades aren't establishing the neutral zone well enough. Earlier on the period, you see them passing out of the defensive zone and establishing the neutral zone and gaining some good attacking pressure. They're not doing that as well right now. They and definitely have the potential to do it, though. And now Wood sends it along the wall as a clear jail Clearing jailbreak here for Vanka. Ends up on Zaniga's stick. Into the corner they go. 4.26 to play in this first period of action. Webster sends it back toward through neutral as the Rays reset. They're back in on side, on net, and blockered away by Dom. Zaniga, and back for Woods. Woods stabled the boards by Eng. Five players converge on it. Woods able to emerge. Back to the middle, Myers pokes it away. Held in by Oliva, back around one, and a shot block by Michelle Ng. Turnaround chance for Woods, and Dom holds this one as well. She maybe use a line change right now if I'm the Blades. And they will certainly do that right now, sending out Brown, Leary, Burns, Turner, Greaves, the combination. Well, this is the high attacking offensive line. But first, Turner will be sent out of the faceoff dot, and... Katie Brown will take it. This one's sent around and Christina Brown chasing down Hannah Bunton as Vercalia with a chance. Two blades converge on her and that's kind of what it's been taking to get the puck away from Ashley Vercalia. It's been taking a couple of players as opposed to just one. Goes back to the size advantage you brought up earlier, Max. She's noticeably the biggest player out there. Tough to get the puck away from someone that size. Turner up for Leary, missing the target and UA will control back through, back through her side of the table. Cut off by Drew Burns, given a shove by Ashley Vercaliuk. Brown for Leary again. The two BC teammates hooking up on that connection. Leary sprinting ahead, gets it to the center. Off the side of the net, couldn't find Greaves. Leary back to her feet, looking for a pass. She'll cut in front, turn her a chance, and it skirts away from her blade. Mercer back up with it. She has Bunton in the center. Opts to shoot, and Dom will stop play with 3.04 to go. A quality entry into the attacking zone for the Blades right there, but no established pressure once again, and you're seeing Vanka come right down and just take all kinds of shots on Lauren Dom. Eventually, that's going to come back to her, Boston. Taking this face off will be Nicole Giannino, a Team USA gold medalist in roller hockey. 
She was a second round pick in 2015 by the Blades. Sasso Kikusi sends this around for Elizabeth Avison. Giannino comes up after it, banks it off the boards to herself, and is able to come in on offside. The far official had to call that one with the near official being pushed into the zone with the play. The Rays able to take control off of the delayed offside, and it ends up in the skates of Tar Taryn Harris. Avison pokes it out, and Sheena and will back control back through center. Back up ice, this pass misses the connection, and first to it will be Harris for the icing call with 2.22 to play in a 1-0 game with Vanka in the lead. And right now you just gotta play for the end of the period in this one if you're the Blades. Try and regroup, come out stronger with that same intensity you had to start the first period. Aaron Kickham set to take this face off, and she will end up in the skates with Shin, and it gets back to the back wall. Now kick him, hold it in. Now Sheenan cuts it off. Chelsea Goldberg, another poke check, forcing the Rays to at least delay their attack. Back up Bison, it's a jailbreak, three on two if they hurry. It ends up for Ming Hu, a cut off at the line by Hampton. They've come in on side anyway. And back toward the line, kick him able to get it out. Caitlin Sperling will spar for it, and Jordan Hampton ends up with it. Up for Aaron Hall, spinning away from Woods, finds Hampton again. Send up pass, ends up on the stick of UA, who will look over her shoulder, survey her options. She runs out of them by the time Nicole Giannino gets there. UA back with it. Daniga calling for it, gets it, ends up for Webster. Webster with Woods will enter the zone. Back for Webster. A bit of a hook by Giannino as she gets away with it. To a vacant corner, and first two will be Caitlin Sperling. Giannino away from her stick, ends up for Oliva. Oliva, it's another chance toward. She spins away from Giannino, Good and back up come there. the Rays. Good little battle down there by Giannino in the corner. And those are the plays that the Blaze need to keep making, or at least trying to make. As a couple players converge on it, Christina Brown apparently puts it on Woods' and stick, and another kick out by Dom as we're under 60 seconds to go in this first period of action. Michelle Ng, a back pass from Megan Greaves. Greaves off the boards, Mercer cuts her off. Myers can't get to it, and first to it will be Sheenan for the Rays on net glove down by Dom, and she'll stop play with 42.1 to play in this first period of action. One positive to take out of this period, Max, is that the Blades are winning a lot of puck battles along the boards. They're just not turning it into any established pressure, and that comes back to the Banca Rays closing down passing lanes in the attacking zone. But Kaliuk wins it back for Sheenan as the Rays get a chance to set up their offense for another attack. First two, it'll be Leary along the side, but they can't clear. Brown gets it away from Mercer, and we'll find Drew Burns. Megan Greaves gets it on her backhand, moves it to the center, Courtney Turner with a flick, and the Ra Blades are in on side, but Brakaliuk is there to body off Turner. Turner giving up five inches in height, but it ends up on the stick of Leary in that battle. Brakaliuk once again showing off her presence on the ice, keeps it and sends it forward, gets it around one, and another kick out by Dom to keep this game one nothing. That was an incredible individual effort. And Sheenan's shot is blocked, and that will end the period one nothing with a good start for Boston, but it ended up with a late, a late chance for a wacky deflection, and the Rays end up on top one nothing after 20. Yeah, I mean, again, there's a lot of positives to take out of it, but, you know, the Blades need to work on finishing those chances. One person you can't fault for keeping the blades in this is Lauren Dom. Lauren Dom making a, all the saves she needed to as we get the shots on goal updates from down below. Uh, Statistician Ken Feely, the Rays with 17 and the Boston Blades with 10 yeah. at the end of one. That was noticeable. Chances on Lauren Dom, especially in the latter end of that period. And I would, uh, I would imagine that most of the blades chances came in the early half of that period. And we'll send, it, we'll send it to break. When we come back, we'll have the second period of action. The Rays lead 1-0 over the Boston Blades. You're watching Boston Blades Hockey on the Boston Blades YouTube channel.
Welcome back to Lawrence Larson Rink at Winthrop, Massachusetts. Max Walpup alongside Sean McLean for today's third of three games between the Boston Blaze and the Vonka Rays. The Rays lead 1-0 after 20 minutes. Really similar to the game on Sunday that we saw. A lot of intensity in the early going. A goal by Vonka took the life out of it, but hopefully the, the Blades can respond better here in the second period than they did on Sunday. Look for Megan Greaves and Courtney Turner to really get the team going as they've been really one of the top players offensively out there for the Blades. As you see the Blades coming out of the locker room to start this period, another player defensively for Boston that has been sound is Sato Kikuchi with a couple of sliding blocks as well as Chelsea Goldberg with a few shot blocks of her own. And that's just been what's been needed to keep the Blades in hockey games in the early half of the CWHL season. And in addition to those names you said, Max, Drew Burns has been quietly making great plays locking down opposing forwards all over the place, especially in their own zone. It's been really great to see for the Blades. The teams will switch sides, Boston on the left and Vanka on the right as you see it here at, at, at our, from our vantage point on the far side of the ice. The period of the long change, they like to call it Max. Well, especially what in the offensive zone, sometimes they try the short change, but when you do that, as we saw a couple times the last couple of games, sometimes you leave yourself open to odd player rushes. Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah. A, it's a big threat and a risk you take. Now that risk is something you have to take. The puck is back down for the second period of play as Leary losing control and Webster will take it back. But Leary takes it away from her momentarily. First to it for the Rays and now flipping it all the way out. Jordan Hampton can't control. Webster into the corner. Now Janiga another chance. Now Turner muscles her to the boards. This is going to be a penalty on Boston. And in the early half of the period, 1938 to play, it's going to be a quick power play chance for Vanka. I think that's going to be on Courtney Turner. Yeah, it definitely is for body checking is the call. Wrestling a ray to the ground, and Turner is going to head off for two minutes. It's a tough penalty. We've seen a couple times happen in these three games. Some, in, some incidental contact sometimes, but the referees see it as a contact. That's Turner's first minor penalty this season. One assist so far for the Milton, Massachusetts native, a rookie out of Union College. For Kaliuk at center point for Mercer. They'll switch places, and Mercer will send it back for Ashley. Now for Kaylee again on the top of the circle, winds and fires into the net. Picks out the far side on Dom and finds her twine for 2-0. That's some great puck movement by Ivanka, Max. You can't say it any other way. Basically, Ashley Brakaliuk and Kaylee Mercer just playing catch up along the point. And then a great shot down there by Mercer. Brakaliuk had four points in, in uh, Sunday's contest. And here she brings up another one with Mercer getting her fourth goal this season and Brakaliuk her eighth point. As it's Shin versus Ng. In the faceoff dot, and Ng, possibly the shortest last name in the CWHL with just two letters, wins it back. It's Sheena now for the Rays as they hold a 2-0 advantage. Sheena over the line on side for Vanka on net, and Dom didn't have to touch it as it was going wide. Kelly Kittridge sends it to the corner. Aaron Kickham is first to it. And now she'll get it back again after a failed clearance in, into the zone for Vanka. Kittridge in support, sends it all the way down, and Vanka calling for icing, and they will get it. Over there, Max, uh, some of the puck battles that the Blades are winning in the first period. Caitlin Kittridge over there, locking it down, turned into an icing, but still a quality play over along the boards. Kittridge, a second-year professional. She played with DEC Salzburg Eagles in the German League last year, but this is her first CWHL season. As stoppage for the faceoff. The Mawa, New Jersey native, played for the Brown University Bears, 2010 to 2015. The seventh round pick by Boston this past draft. Brakaliuk wins yet another faceoff, and Bunton control stops and pulls up away from Kickham. Along the wall, Kickham and Ng team up to take it away. As Ng spin, spins back to the center, Brakaliuk now for Mercer again. Those two teamed up for the power play tally. This one is blocked and Deaden before it could reach Dom with Kittridge. Now for Kaliuk again on net, 
saved and rebound out in front. Bacali took another chance at it. Dom way out of position for the rebound from Mercer, but it sprinkles to the boards on harm. Mercer looking for another chance to get to the middle. Bacaliuk up top. Oliva with a shot that goes high. And first two it'll be Kittridge. Along the wall, Bacaliuk keeps it in for Boston. Kittridge banks it off of her and up for Megan Myers. Myers down the near side in the, into the offensive zone and they rule her offside on the play. The Blades do get a chance to change with 17.48 to play in the second period. Some dangerous plays in the defensive zone over there by the, for the Blades. Ashley Bracali really just having her way out here and basically single-handedly got a chance on Dom. The Can't Rays, let those plays happen. The Rays looking for their fourth win of the season as Webster is sent out and Woods wins this face off anyway for Vanka. Now Webster, now Goldberg takes it away from her, gets it through China, but not far enough. Holding it is Sperling. Now Goldberg along the wall, keeping control for Boston as Sperling tied up with A, and she ends up losing her stick and the puck. Now for Goldberg, a chance to brief two on one, and she'll spin around. In front of battle ensues, and the pass for Burns goes nowhere to be found as Dom has to come out of her crease to take it. She'll send it for Christina Brown. Brown pulls up at the goal line and sends it back for Burns. Burns banks it off the boards. Oliva cuts it off and the Rays are in for the attack. Avison along the wall and this one's stopped at the blue line and no farther. Christina Brown takes it now. She'll flip it into the zone and Chuli will watch it sail behind her. Fire wagon change for Boston is fresh off the bench is Courtney Turner. Burns, and this one's cut off at the pass. Burns once again spinning away with it. Burns, a Burlington, Massachusetts native, as the Blades lose the puck once again. Here's Shin. Ming Hu once more. And now for Kelly cutting in toward the net and wide. Shin looking for a chance to get back out in front. UA has to come down to meet her. Shin once again, back for Burns in the center. No friendly sticks available for Vanka. This one's sent all the way down, and it will be icing with 16-12 to go. The saving grace so far in this period has been that the Blades are at least clogging the slot really well. So even though they're giving up those chances to Vanka, they're able to close off those lanes for passing and get quickly to block those shots. For Kaliuk leaning in once again to take this face off against Courtney Turner as Turner will be sent out. Wondering, she's probably wondering what she did wrong. But both will be sent out. Bunton against Hampton, as Hampton losing this face off to Bunton. Hampton normally a defender, having to, having to take that face off there. Back to the center, Bracaliuk banks off of her shin pads, now Mercer. Mercer, given a whack by Greaves, sends it along and Burns chasing down Bunton. She'll seed the puck opting to keep defensive zone structure. Sheena and Bracaliuk toward the middle, and Leary keeps, banks it down off the wall, and if she can get it, she's got a break. She's got a chance, and Greaves in front, batted out of the air, and a hard check along the wall, and this one will be stopped, and this is gonna be a penalty on Boston. It's the delayed call. Rays come back up with it with Mercer. Mercer back for Bunton. Sixth attacker coming on as Chuli gets off the ice to the center and kicked out by Hampton before it could reach Dom. Six attacker on, the goalkeeper is out for Vanka. A delayed penalty coming up on Boston. Webster for Kelly, gets around Giannino but now touched up by Greaves and finally the penalty will be called. Kate Leary will be heading into the box for Boston. Leary, the leading, one of the top scorers for Boston with three goals and one assist so far this season. She finished last year first on the team as well with 10 goals and six assists in her rookie season. Yeah, it's kind of a log jam play in front of the net. Penalties usually happen in those situations. And Oliva now at the corner as the Rays look to get another power play goal on the board. In direction off of Janiga, almost ends up past Dom. Now Oliva. For Ming Hu once more. Down low, and they're looking for options to the center. Can't find any. Oliva at the top. Broken stick in the middle of the ice. Ming Hu. And Megan Myers is without a twig. Ming Hu now 
Down low, Zuniga, back up top, Oliva toward the net, blocked before it could reach. And first two, it is going to be Sato Kikuchi to send it on down, but only gets to the red line as Oliva cuts it off. Zuniga and they're back in on side, ready to resume. 115 left to play in the penalty as Megan Myers got to the bench, but now Drew Burns doesn't have her stick. As Myers now playing with Burns' stick, Webster, and can't get away from Myers. Now she has the puck with a little bit of space. Webster with two players on her. Mercer clears the broken stick out of the zone. For Woods, 14 minutes to play in the second period of action. Blades to their third penalty kill thus far tonight. Kikuchi, now that's Kickham now without a stick also. Now Kickham stops it. Bercalia stops this clearance, but Brown sends it all the way down. And finally, the Blades get a chance to get a full sail change. Tough shot block almost went really bad for the Blades on that one. Luckily, a good block. Under 30 seconds left to play in the penalty now. Mercer flying down net and Dom with a stop clears it to the back wall. 19 seconds to play in this penalty. Coming out of the box will be Kate Leary, Berkaliuk center point. Mercer, now Berkaliuk again, under 10 seconds left. Ng cuts it off, and the Blades will have a break if they hurry. They've got Ng and Sperling. Ng looking for the pass, shoot, and stopped by Chuli. The rebound well controlled as Leary is out of the box. Two on one the other way now. Bunton with Webster. To the middle goes Bunton and high and over the head of Dom. Banks it off the boards and the Blades get it to center. Bum rush by Leary, and Leary with a bit of space on net and sticked away by Chuli. End to end, at we go here at Lawrence Larson Rink. Back for Ng behind the net. Truly playing low, Leary, and this was poked away, kicked off the kick pad, and Avison unable to bury it. The shot toward the net and wide. Hall going after it. She'll keep it in. And yes, she does, but Webster now with it. And back up a short two on one, but the Rays are offside. And we finally get a chance to catch our breath with 12.24 to go. Lots of, lots of good stuff to take out of that shift right there, Max. How many chances did the Blades get down there? Lots of passing, plays behind the net, good opportunities, and truly forced to make a few good saves, including a really, really nice one down here on the low dot. Blades and Rays just trying to get their personnel situation sorted out. Puck finally drops once again as it ties up in the skates of Shin and Wasilk. And this one's hooked up by Goldberg. Chelsea Goldberg, the Northeastern product, played 90 games for the Huskies. Spins around and keeps the puck to the far post. But first two, it will be the Rays. And back up by three on two if they hurry. 12 minutes to play in the second period of action. The Rays already doubling their advantage from the first period. Along the far side, Shin will take it. They're playing catch with Minghu to the center off the stick of Dom, ends up on the stick of Kelly, who heals the shot and burns, gets away from some pressure, and will send it for Christina Brown. Brown and Goldberg just missing a chance at a breakaway, but ends up on net, so no icing, as that'll be a shot on goal for Christina Brown from way out there. Webster, poked away by Brown, ends off the equipment of Wasilk, and she'll hammer it back for Leary. Leary sends it around, Juniga cuts it off, but don't banks off of her skate, and Leary with it once again, facing with Courtney Turner. Turner over the line, the Blades come back in on side. Momentarily with Greaves cutting in. Greaves to the center, and she'll send a shot on Chuli, who will stop it with 11.09 to go. So you're seeing the Blades use their speed players. Katie Leary, Megan Greaves, Courtney Turner, they're the ones making plays in the offensive zone because they're the ones winning puck battles and getting through the neutral zone cleanly. There's a reason that Leary has four points in this season and Greaves has four as well, tied for the team lead with Megan Myers. Hall keeping it in at the line. Bunton rushes her to the wall. And Kelly, and now it just gets out, but Mercer cutting in on it. Hampton having to come back on the back check. Back to the center, looking for a pass for Kaliuk, just out of her reach. Oliva, poked away by Turner. Along the wall, four players battle for it. Oliva comes free with it, but Kaliuk holds it in. For Kaliuk, low, and tried to find a tip. She ended up finding one, 
but it went over the head of Dom. Now back for Berkaliuk, off her skate. Now back to the center, Mercer, hammering shot, rides a stick all the way to the netting. That one was labeled for the back of the net, Matt. Well, again. well, yeah, the back of the top netting, not yeah. the not <laughs> the not the netting that scores a goal or anything right. like that. Anyway, jokes aside, we're about halfway through the game now. Boston still trailing two nothing. Ten thirty two to play in the second period. And Ving pushes this one to the side, and the Rays end up with control. Shin toward the net, and Dom stops it, and she'll have to cover it. We'll have another faceoff. Trying to slow things down. Blade's been sloppy in the defensive zone at this point, so I think a breather could maybe do them well. Ing losing this face off. Now Shinan to the puck and through through Ing skate. Ming Hu ends up with it. Yue, and she'll send it on around for Ming Hu once again. Ing cuts off this pass to the middle. Sent up the side, and Yue can't control this one. Chuli comes out, and she will play it to the corner. Ing now, with her back to the play, spins around and gets away from Shinan, but to her knee she goes, and kick him, looking for Myers in the middle, cut off by the Rays. Kikuchi able to hold it in. Myers getting it deeper, and Shinan now with it. Off the wall, Kikuchi will pinch once again, over skates it, runs into the nearest Ray, so that delays the breakout. But Shinan will send it along the side, and now three on two, cut off by Taryn Harris. Back for Aaron Kickham, and Megan Myers cuts to the middle. Kickham toward the net and blocked. Now Myers, back pass looking for Ng. Off, the, off at the line, Harris holds it in. 9.25 to play in the second period. Out of the zone goes the puck, and off to chase it is Christina Brown. Brown looking for a pass, fresh off the bench is Goldberg, just in offside are the blades. Goldberg doesn't realize it, but it's sent off the wall. Neither does Caitlin Sperling, who finally touches up. Oh man, that was a close one. Look, I think Goldberg was just a touch offside on that one. Great idea though by Christina Brown to pass it right up the middle. Especially with the fresh change coming on. So and since the pass came from all the way in the defensive zone, that's where the faceoff is going to be. Giannino versus Webster. Webster out of St. Lawrence, a Division I school, and Giannino out of a Division III school in Holy Cross, which will soon go Division I. And we're also able to poach a valuable assistant coach from Boston University in Katie LaChapelle. This one banks off of, banks off of Sperling and back toward the other side of the table. Kelly. Now back up into Christina Brown will control. Sperling gets this one, and the Blades come in onside this time. 8.44 to go, and a couple players collide into the boards. Goldberg chasing after it. Along the wall, and four-player engagements. The puck is still, it's still there. And breaking news, it has now been taken away by Emily Janiga. Off the wall, looking for Woods over her stick. And now Brown off the wall. Brown again, taken away by the Rays, and they'll set up the attack as the defense, in a bit of in a temporary change, as on comes Yue and Sheenan. They're trying to execute that short change through Burns. Can't get it out. It's toward the net and kicked away by Dom off the bid from Hannah Bunton. Woods with it. Bunton once again. Bunton gets around Brown. Banks off of Giannino. 7.50 to play here in this second period. As Sheena is able to hold it in, Bracalia keeps it. She'll cut to the center. Sperling wipes out in the neutral zone. She'll rejoin the play now. Bracalia finds an open skater. This is sent on net and wide. You can possibly hear the Blades bench raucously approving of the defense's job thus far. This has been a long shift for Goldberg, Sperling, and Giannino as it's kept along the wall with Sheenan right in the middle of all of it. Referees telling them to move it, and they'll finally stop play. I think the Blades are content just to get the line change. Yeah, I would agree with that one, Max. I mean, twice now, they, down here in the attacking zone for the Blades, and now down here in the defensive zone, you've had tie-ups along the wall like that, and possibly both times were to get a line change, but only the second time did it bear any fruit. Turner and Berkaliuk leaning in on this draw. One forward by Turner, but Hall will now take it back in her defensive area. Avison can't get around. 
Oliva. This one's sent on it. Dom pokes it to the far side corner where Mercer is first to it. Oliva winds and fires and sent all the way toward the net, eventually sprinkled out. Kelly will be first to it. She'll swoop back behind the net and get away from the forecheck of Avison. Kelly again with it. A lot more time and space this time as she is able to find a teammate, but it banks off her glove and Wasilk up for Turner. Goes nowhere, but this pass is might just be long enough for icing. Hall beats it out and the whistle blows. The Rays are unable to change. Toughens up just like that. The team needs that. They need to relax, settle down because the play is coming all the way back down, back and forth, back and forth for Junior right now. Some team, one of these teams needs to establish some kind of attacking zone pressure. And the Blades have a chance right now with an offensive zone faceoff. And head coach Casey Brugman sending out Myers, Leary, and Greaves for the draw. But it's won, won anyway by Brokaliuk. And But this will be icing once again. So the Blades get another chance. Another stoppage. You got to win one of these faceoffs eventually, though, Max. 6.24 to play in the second period. Myers will lean in once again against Brokaliuk. Brokaliuk out of. Minnesota Duluth Myers out of out of Utica College in D3. Sent back on that. Mercer a chance. Kicked out by Dom. A toe save off the skate. Shin keeping herself in the field of play. Race came dangerously close to too many women on that on that line change. Bunton sends it through the official's legs and around. And Hampton for Myers and off the boards for Leary. Leary spins and finds Greaves, who will go one on two through the neutral zone. Breaking ahead with speed, and Greaves pulls up, looking for a pass from Myers on net. Leary a chance through her skates. Hampton on net, high, and Myers can't get it faster. Minghu now will calmly break it out, and the, and the Rays are ahead three on two. As Kikuchi rides her to the boards. Bit of a battle between the Japanese national and the Chinese nationals on that play, and Kikuchi wins one for the land of the rising sun. Leary. Leary for Myers. Myers with a j danger toe drag. Kikuchi and a crash on net with Leary and Chuli. Chuli gets back in position. Kittredge toward the net and stops. Now the Rays break it back out once again. Over the line is co-captain Minghu off of the skates of Kikuchi. Kittredge off the boards and stopping it there is Banka back in front and it's banked off of Myers. Given a shove on the play is Shin, kick him flying up ice, and this one's tipped, it'll be no icing on Boston, they're able to change on the play. Kick him cuts off the attack of Brakalia, who will flip the side for Mercer and get it back for Ashley. Aaron Spen Kickham bringing in the hard four track, trying to spark something for the Blades. Webster, as it banks off of her stick, ends up on the stick of Woods. Woods with the chance now. Bodied off the puck by Burns, and Woods will staple her. Now five players converge on the puck. Bunton emerges with it with Mercer. Brakaliuk again, cut off at the line. The, pa the pass was a little weak coming off the blade. Ng, Webster, now Woods higher. And this one ganks into the netting with 4.09 to play. And we'll have a stoppage. Come back a little bit. How about that save by Lauren Dom to keep this score at two nothing? Another, th that was the best one of the game. Best one of this whole series right there by Lauren Dom, and it was massive because if this gets 3 nothing, Banka, it's out of hand, and the Blades got to talk about moving on to the next game. <laughs> well, the next game will be in a couple of weeks in Calgary over, over American Thanksgiving weekend. Cut off, and Janiga will control for Banka. Over the blue line, they come back in. As Hampton cuts off this attack, Chelsea Goldberg has to spin to her backhand to keep it. Hampton over the line, they come in on side, Giannino will go in after it for the Blades, but Oliva is first to it. And on the far side, they'll start the breakout. Jordan Hampton with it. Foxborough native will find Aaron Hall, the Pembroke native. Ming Hu over the blue line, back for Shin, and up for Janiga. The Buffalo, New York native sends it around, and the Baldwinsville, New York native, Lauren Dom, sprinkles it for yet another New Yorker at a base shore, Nicole Giannino. Shin with a chance for the middle and on net, kept out by Dom and swept away by Hampton. I stand corrected. That one was incredible. 
And Brakaliuk banks off of her stick and into the defensive side of the zone. Now back up for Webster as the Blades do get a partial change on the play. Webster looking for Woods a chance, and this one's a back pass into the net. Pretty play with Woods combining with Bunton, and it's 3-0 with 2.58 to go. Nothing Dom can do about that one. Slick, slick pass right across the middle and tapped in. Wow. And after Dom just made that incredible save, a couple just in the last four minutes alone. Nothing you can do about that one. That's the sixth goal this season for Hannah Bunton, the rookie out of Belleville, Ontario, played 125 games with the Cornell Big Red. Only one NCAA tournament appearance, which was against Emily Janiga's Mercer. Mercyhurst, they lost to, they lost in the first round in that one. Leary over the line. Now, now Reeves toward the net, and this, the net comes off. Leary didn't realize it, so she sends a backhand on Shuley. This is a problem yet in Sunday's and Saturday's game. Both nets having trouble staying on their pegs. Yeah, the nets just happen to come off their boards. These ones have a little more give, unfortunately, and it's leading to a lot of stoppages. But it's probably a benefit for the Blades right now because they need to really settle things down, kind of get their composure back and establish their game within this. 2.36 to play in the second period of action. Three nothing, Vanka leads this battle as they go for a weekend sweep. Turner giving a hard shove to Janiga and Janiga with a retaliatory slash and this one, that one's gonna be called. Janiga pleading her case but the official will call the retaliation every time and the Blades will get a late power play. Oh, we saw this happen on Sunday. It was three nothing, Vanka, a power play opportunity and the Blades converted on it in the first eight seconds of the man advantage. So they'll have to convert early. We'll see if they can get it going so maybe they can get back into this game. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but head coach Rob Morgan is not happy about this one for Vanka. This is, as this is a very late power play chance for Boston. Well, he knows how the Blades can play when they're desperate. They kept making a game out of it on Sunday night. Blades over two thus far on the power play. Courtney Turner will once again take this face off, but first the captains for Vanka will get a brief explanation from the officials about what the call is and what they're doing for the rest of this game. Apparently it's satisfactory enough for Kaylee Mercer. Turner leans in on this face off and first to be thrown out will be Emma Woods. As Bunton takes it and Brakaliak wins it to the side. This will be sent out and Hampton stops it at the red line. Hampton takes it back behind her cage and will send it back up the far side. Off the wall and first to it is going to be Megan Greaves. Greaves is the goal in yesterday's contest. Gre Who am I saying yesterday? Sunday. <laughs> the days have all blended it's together Monday, in this. Man. The days have all blended together in this three and four. It's Tuesday. See, this is what Monday does to you. <laughs> That's Sean McLean. I'm Max Wapoff up here in the booth. We thank you for joining us. Another penalty coming up, this one on Ooh. Boston. And Greaves and Mercer getting a bit of a tussle. The officials need to come in and separate the two before it gets out of hand. Tempest flaring at this point. Pivotal moment of the game, and both, both teams know it. So Greaves is going to be off to the box, and so will Mercer. Body checking's the call. And roughing on Mercer. So it's looking like Boston's going to keep their power play, but they'll just lose making Greaves in the process. And quite honestly, that is enough of a loss on yeah, its own. That, that's huge. Megan Greaves, again, noticeably out there all over the place tonight really make one of the few players making plays. You still have Courtney Turner, you still have Megan Myers, and Jordan Hampton's been really good controlling the puck at the blue line, but Greaves is a big loss. Hang on a second, now the officials will converge to try to see what exactly the power situation is going to be, whether it's five on four matching minors, or whether it's four on three, or It's going to be four on three. The official will come to the timekeeper's table to 
make it official, but uh, 150 to go. We're gonna see some four on three action, so a lot of wide open ice about to come up as Vonka now has to send off a player. Yeah, they still have four out there right now. They're probably trying to decide who they wanna bring off. Drawing the short stick will be Hannah Bunton. You can't go wrong with the forwards and the players they have out there, some really quality defensive forwards and Ashley Bertalia can we have Webster and Woods as yeah, well, but Webster. Hampton keeps this one in, and the four-on-three starts. Drew Burns off the stick of Woods. First two, it'll be Myers. A lot of open ice and a lot of patience. Burns toward the net and on, and it's kicked out by Truly. Hampton for Myers. Can't get a pass to the middle, but Kaliak drops to a knee. Leary, and 58 seconds to go in the penalty, 124 to play in the period. Back pass for Burns. Closing in is Woods, but Hampton hammering shot, and it's stopped by Chuli and held underneath her. Good puck movement you're seeing with all that open ice. Blades taking advantage of it. Drew Burns really doing a good job at the top, as well as Jordan Hampton over here at the right point. Now we recognize the importance of these face-offs and the stoppages with Oliva, Shin, and Bunton coming out for this second shift on the four-on-three for head coach of the Vonka Rays, Rob Morgan. Burns at the center point, Myers now. Top of the circle, back center point. Myers again, and this one whistles wide. Hampton for Leary. 30, 30 seconds in the penalty, under 60 seconds in the period. Burns for Hampton, looking for a lane, finds Myers off her stick into the kick plate. 20 seconds down the penalty, Leary up for Burns. Everyone around the net. Kicked out by Chuli all the way to the boards. First two, it is going to be Hannah Bunton, and the Rays are able to clear the zone. They may have a breakaway. Hannah Bunton to the net and stopped by Dom. Rebound chance stopped as well, and Dom will cover. She tried to play it, but she had it covered long enough. Four seconds left to four on three time. So unaffected on the man advantage there are the Blades. That'll go back to four and four for the remaining 33 seconds of the period, as well as the remaining 13 seconds in the third. Thank goodness you're here to do math because I didn't. I could. I don't know if I could have done that math that fast. You can't do math. I thought it was Monday. I can't do a lot of things today. <laughs> anyway, Webster against Ng on this faceoff, and Webster pushes it back. Woods now, and this one's on net. Stop by Dom. Wow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She is standing on her head tonight. That's an understatement. Wow, Lauren Dom. It is hard to make a play-by-play -play man speechless, but I am speechless. <laughs> anyway, Webster back in against Ng. Ng wins this face off and Christina Brown will take it away. And with your team down three, nothing, that's the kind of save that can spark a rally. Absolutely. With Caitlin Sperling with it to the boards now for Brown. About 10 seconds left to go in the period. Brown spurling once again off the boards and two on two the other way. Blades with one last chance. Turner cutting in the middle. Ing a chance kicked out by Chuli. Off the boards and this is where the period is going to end. Three nothing, but a few 10 bell saves from Warren Dom keeping it from being any worse. And then the Blades got a great chance on Elaine Chuli down there at the end. Like you were saying, saves like that can spark something and look for the Blades to respond after that play by Lauren Dom. As you see, the Blades all off the bench will greet Lauren Dom with taps. This is, is this save the, sp the start of something? It could be. Uh, with a whole period ahead of you, anything can happen. Well, I guess you'll just have to stay tuned and find out. We'll be heading to the third period when we come back from intermission. We'll keep it here on the video feed so you can watch the Zamboni resurface the ice. Ten seconds of four on four to open the third period. You're watching. Boston Blades CWHL action on YouTube live.
Welcome back in to Lawrence Larson Rink in Winthrop, Massachusetts. It's 3-0 the Vonka Rays over the Boston Blades. The Blades looking to avoid dropping to 0-6-0-0-1 on the season, but a great, and I mean great, save by Lauren Dom to end the third period. It was a little late to start a rally, but now maybe this is sparking something, Sean. Yeah, it almost felt like I kept saying this was the best save of the night. No, 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 this was the best save of the night. Well, let Lauren Dom prove me wrong again with an incredible save at the end of the second period there, and then a great chance for Elaine Shuley, or excuse me, on Elaine Shuley at the end there, and maybe the Blades can turn this into something and spark them in a big third period. Blades will take the bench on the right side of the ice, and now they switch back to original configuration here. 10 seconds of penalty time, so it'll be four on four for the size to start this period. But it'll be a very brief four on four, not a whole lot to do aside from maybe set up in the attacking zone. As Dom cuts up the crease in front of her, followed with the Rays coming out of the locker room behind her. Right now, Lauren Dom has been easily the best player on the ice as shots on goal through two periods as provided by our statistician, Ken Feely. 32 for the Rays, 22 for Boston. And the Rays, this could easily be 6-0. Yeah, I, I mean, between the three games, Lauren Dom must have faced almost 100 shots. Probably pretty close to, I think it actually is 100 shots, over 100. I... I can't do that math in my head because I don't remember the first the first game shots on goal. I know it was over 50. Well, then she faced 23 yesterday. And 32 tonight. So and she's so over yes. 100 shots in the three games. My math is on point tonight, Max. Well, good, because mine isn't. <laughs> He's Sean McLean. I'm Max Walpuff. We thank you for joining us on CWHL Action from the Boston Blades YouTube channel. Four on four to start the period with Berkaliuk and Ng set to take the face off to resume play. 20 minutes on the clock and we're just about underway. As it is another penalty coming up on, another penalty coming up, it looks to be on Boston. As Michelle Ng is gonna head off for slashing. So five seconds of four on three, followed by a power play for Vanka coming up. Well, any uh, momentum we were hoping the Blades might have, there's gonna be a pause button put on that one. So it'll be a short four on three as Hampton loses his face off and Fakaliuk holds it in. Out of the box come the other penalty killers. Greaves coming off the ice and first shot on goal is sent wide of Dom. Kickham comes off the bench. So it'll be a five on four for Vanka looking to increase their lead to four. Fakaliuk, the right one to do it. This one stopped on a dime by Hampton and sent back for Ashley Fakaliuk. Mercer now with it. 136 to play in the penalty for Kaliuk. Works it again for Bunton. For Kaylee Mercer, the co-captain of this team. Berkaliuk for Emma Woods. Berkaliuk again. This one's turned over and up the ice on a breakaway, but losing all real estate is Megan Myers. Looking in the front for kick him a chance. And this one goes high and away. And back the other way comes Vanka. Bunton off the boards to herself. Bunton cuts to the middle, loses control, and sends it out of the zone herself. The Blades get a chance to reset. At the center stripe, Woods. Now off, a, off the shin pads of Webster and down low for Christina Brown to take control. And Brown banks it off of a stick. Myers gets it out of the zone as Ming Hu plays it down for Berkaliuk on a shoulder height tap. Can't get it out of the zone and kick him. Loses control to Webster, but it kills off a couple extra seconds. Webster flies through center, 38 seconds left in the penalty to Michelle Ng for slashing. 15.27 to play in this third period of action. And Sheenan and Shaniga coming off the bench and flying down the right side. Looking for a pass to the middle, high and off the boards and around. A free clearance for Boston. There's Oliva as she'll head up to the center stripe. Janiga now with it. 10 seconds left in the penalty as Greaves pokes it back in. Greaves is gonna head in on her own one on two. Gets around one, a chance. And this one is blocked up by the stick of Oliva. Two seconds and one. We're back at even at full strength, five on five. Short change applied and Wasso comes off the bench, off the boards and she's able to hold it in. Greaves sends it low and Oliva keeps control for Vanka as they get it to the blue line no farther. Leary with Greaves on her backhand to her forehand for Leary again and it goes wide. It's crashing into the net will be Oliva as the Blades keep control. 
momentarily as this one is sent all the way down before it'll be a no-touch icing for Hall. It's a little bit of overthinking in the offensive zone there for the Blades, Max. Over here you had, um, I believe it was Aaron Hall who had a chance, thought to try to pass it in front, and it went just wide, but that was that extra pass that they missed on, and, you know, could have been an easy goal. Taylor Wassilk, the Port Huron, Michigan native, losing this faceoff to the Rays, and back with it. Back with it and off the boards, getting away from Jordan Hampton. This will be no touch icing as Jang Bowen gets a chance on the ice. The Team China native, the Team China product of the U18, the Asian Games, and the Olympic qualifiers and university odd play. The 20th round pick as Kelly touches up for Vanka. And a lot of icing to open this period early on. Slowing the game down, that's definitely working to the favor of Vanka. As you know, the Blades are going to have to give a pushback at some point very soon. And if you see Elaine Chuli of the Vonka Rays, and we spin you back to play, Nicole Giannino up with it, and ch chasing it for Chelsea Goldberg. This is Kelly swooping around and sw spins it on a twister pass backward as Bowen is able to get it out of the zone away the, st the stick of Webster. Hampton off the boards, and we'll find Goldberg on side. Goldberg off the boards back for Wasoka chance wide. First two, it'll be Burns. Burns can't control the bouncing biscuit. Now Webster, and taken away again. Back up ice come the Rays with Woods. Emma Woods, a Buford, Ontario native, 149 games played with the Quinnipiac Bobcats. Her and the Rays unable to keep possession for long. And Nicole Giannino through center is able to get it just far enough into the zone that the Blades can keep it in at the blue line with Drew Burns. Uh, sent on net and it's blocked down in front before it could reach anyone. Emma Woods sends it up and Mercer is in ahead. Mercer on net and stopped by Don Berkaliuk, not in position for the rebound. Around for Myers once more. Myers for a fellow captain and Aaron Kickham as it's cut off by Mercer. And now Berkaliuk at the center line. Mercer again, they're back on side. Mercer gets around the defensive one, sent on net and sent away by Dom. Christina Brown cutting up to the middle is cut off by Berkaliuk. 15.34 to play in this third period. Burns and Bunton to the boards. Berkaliuk emerges from the pile for UA. Sent on that and blocked by Michelle Ng. Berkaliuk takes it away. It ends up in the blue paint. It's still loose and Berkaliuk pots it home. Picked it out of the pile and it's 4-0. That's a brutal deflating play for the Blades right there. Puck looked like it was covered not once, not twice, probably three times we thought Lauren Dom had it. But somehow, Bacalia comes out of that pile and rifles it in the top corner. And Christina Brown speaking with the officiating crew, and they are, I don't know if the Blades can be very happy about this one. It's 4-0 Vanka, 15-19 to play in the third period. Blades probably thought that puck was covered, Max. I can't really blame them. I mean, I lost sight of it, that's I, I for sure. I thought it was definitely covered. Well, the officials, in, the officials in black and white had sight of it, and that's what matters as Turner sends it on net. And Chuli with yet another stop. It was a great shot by Turner, not because it was a quality scoring chance, but because it creates the offensive zone faceoff, which the Blades could use right now. Turner will lean back in for this draw, and she is up against... Fang Shin, seven years on Team China, an eighth round pick gets sent out. And in to take it will be Kong Ming Hu, a seven year veteran of Team China in her own right. Greaves taking it away after Vanka wins the faceoff, but her pass is whipped on, and back up the ice comes Vanka in the raise. Kelly to the middle, t cut off at the pass by Kikuchi. Greaves sends it off the boards, Turner. Do a game of ring around the posy with Ming Hu, and th this one is sent around to the far side. The Razor will set up their attack. Kelly toward the net, sticked away by Dom off the boards and not off the netting. Leary sends it to the blue line for Vanka, and the Blades get some measure of a change off the ice. Dom's composure in the crease is evident. Kitteridge and Turner team up. They get it just to the blue line as Shin Fang sends it back in. 14.23 to go. Kittridge is going to be the first one to it as 
on the back check is Woods. Sheenan at the front. And now Avison. Avison gains red line and will dump in. Shuley comes out to play it. First to it is Caitlin Sperling. Heavy on net and just wide. Avison with a golden chance with Shuley caught well out of position. And the Blaze can't get one on the board. Up come the, up come the raise the other way. Poked away by Hall. Now Webster. Back to the center, can't find anybody, and UA can't hold it in as it bounces off the kick plate over her blade and back to the defensive side of things for Vanka. Giannino with a nifty move at center to keep it away. Now for Jordan Hampton. She'll spin away from Emma Woods and try the near side. Chelsea Goldberg, tip pass, can't get to Giannino as UA cuts it off. Sheenan sends it back to the center stripe and Hall comes back, they're just offside as Caitlin Sperling was coming back off the play. Sent on net and blocked. Bunton can't control, and Goldberg will come back with it. Chelsea Goldberg rings it around. Shuley cuts it off. She'll tee it up behind her net. Back for Bunton once again, as Wasilk and Brown play with it. It's 4-0 for the Rays, as we're just under 13 minutes to go here in this third period. As Nation sends it back. Brown cuts off the pass to Mercer, and Burns will control behind her net. Now Kickham playing catch and with Wasilk, Nation will see it once more. Mercer. And unable to control that pass is Kelly. Big chance for Myers, but she can't get her balance correct, and Kickham was standing out in front. Brown keeps it in the defensive zone for Vanka, but pushed back to the center. Mercer taps it ahead. With 12.28 to play, the Blades get control back as Burns sends it from Myers. Now Brown will join the rush. Brown off the boards, not able to get to it first as Oliva sends it out of the zone. Now for Ng. Ng once more. Ng gets away from Shin. Brown coming back to her de normal defensive position, sends it all the way across the ice from Myers. Myers, no friendly sticks in sight as cutting it off now is Ng. Myers losing her stick momentarily. She gets it right back. 11.55 to go, and on the back check, Caitlin Sperling keeps it alive momentarily as it's back out to center. Kikuchi now. Now for Ng. Over the line they come back, but Shin is able to keep it for Vanka. Back at the blue line, Ng cuts off the attack, and Caitlin Sperling comes back in on side. Two on her back, and Myers can't get to it. Oliva sends it to the corner, and the Rays avoid a two-on-none break. Back up into the Rays bench, and we'll have a stoppage with an offensive zone draw coming for Boston. We're seeing a lot of chances for Vanka, a lot of movement of the puck through their own zone, and Boston just keeps being forced to dump it into the attacking zone, and they're giving the puck right back to them. Some slick moves by Michelle NG. Well, I'll say that at this point, but otherwise nothing of note for the Blades. Turner to the wall, Greaves keeping it ahead. Uh, Oliva ran right into her. Webster taking it away from the pile. Held in by Turner and Hampton, bodying off Janiga so she can't control the puck. Hall swings around to the left side and will send it in over the stick of Oliva. Chuli will have to backhand it to Janiga and she has a little bit of open ice for some passing plays. Webster now. Webster looking for a chance, she finds it, but Hampton's stick is in the way. 10.50 to play in this third period of action. Leary, and she'll send it around the net. Hall chasing away from Giannica. She'll get to it first. Back behind Turner, it ends up on the stick of Leary. Work down the blade's favor as they get it to center, but Sheenan is able to send it backward. Back for Zhao Sheenan, a ninth round pick by, by the Rays. Sends it up for Hannah Bunton. Bunton in her own right, a Canadian national with experience on the under 18 team back in 2013 with an assist on the overtime game winning goal to win gold against the United States. This one's up for Drew Burns, but now Kaylee Mercer with it. Mercer with some speed on net and stopped by Dom on the post. Halfway through the period, now Kelly breaking in, sliding block from Avison. The Blades haven't given up. Great play there by Avison, sliding right across the blue line to deny that chance. Nay Shin's pass is sent away for Brown, and Mercer cuts it right off at the faceoff dot in the middle. Mercer and hard check on Brown, and Brown is down. 
Christina Brown is down on the ice. They finally stop play. Hard, hard freight train running right over Christina Brown, and this is not looking good. Yeah, the, the, the check was beyond my vantage point, but you can just tell by the reactions over here in the stands and in the booth and down low on the bench that it is not a pretty sight of what just happened down there to Christina Brown. No signal if there's any kind of penalty yet either, Max. Yeah, both officials are talking over it at center ice, but right now the primary concern is the health of Christina Brown, a third year in the CWHL, five-year veteran of professional hockey, first round, first round fifth overall pick by Boston after they won the Clarkson Cup in 2015. She made three frozen fours with Boston College from 2009 to 2013, uh, but now she is on the ice in a great deal of pain. You hate to see that to anybody, Max, happen to anybody. And, and she's local, too, from North Andover. I mean, she might have friends and family around here probably watching the game that come to the games as well often. It's just not something you want to see happen to anybody. And Brown is a team leader in that room. She really knows how to command a locker room. And she is going to be brought to her feet with the help of Kelly Kittridge and the training staff and helped off the ice. Nine thirty-nine to play. No penalties will result from the collision, but the Blades lose a little more than just a defenseman wearing number twenty-four on the play. Yeah, I mean you're losing a lot when you lose Brownie right there. The reset play and Mercer with it off the back wall. Nine thirty to play in this third period as it's looking more and more like a sweep for Vonka as this one's sent on that and kicked out by Dom. Rebound chance is stopped before it could reach with Goldberg in front. Nice little save there by Lauren Dom. Deflection, I think, in front as well too, Max. We just passed the bottom of the hour. He is Sean McLean. I am Max Walpa. Thank you for joining us again on the Boston Blades YouTube channel streaming live tonight as we finally got the live stream to work tonight. We had a couple of internet connectivity issues in the first game we tried on Saturday, but now that we have the ethernet cable in, we finally have it going. 8.50 to play and Drew Burns can't catch up to that sliding puck as Berkaliuk is first to it in the corner. Berkaliuk on the center stripe, she'll spin. Now gets it away from Shin and another Shin can't get to it. And who drop pass and back in the zone come the Rays. Sent on that kicked out by Dom. Sperling sends it around. Kittridge can't get to it, but Kikuchi will cut it off along the boards and sent out, but only as far as the blue line until Aaron Kickham can carry it out of the zone. Kickham sends it over the lineswoman's head and around the net. Oliva will control. Oliva, a little slash and... Kikuchi cuts it off and sends it back in, allowing the Blades to come back in on, on side. At the center stripe, Wasilk blocking this clearance bid, and Avison pulls up and will come up on the far side. Cross corner pass, gets into, gets into the path of Sperling, but hammered back for Janiga. Janiga ridden to the boards by Kikuchi, as back, on, back in the play is Wasilk. Wasilk to the center for Sperling and a bit of a break if the Blades hurry, but back on the check is Janiga, bringing Sperling to the wall. UA, Janiga, Wasilk, Webster, and, and they'll converge on it. Webster comes free with it. Avison rides this to the wall and Chinan sends it all the way out. Hall, and is this icing? Yes, it is. 7.14 to go. It's still 4 nothing raise. So far in this game, you're just seeing a disparity, disparagement in talent between the Blades and the Rays. I mean, the, the Rays' top players, Ashley Berkaliuk and Brooke Webster and Kay Kaylee Mercer have really shown up tonight, really making plays all over the ice. And, you know, the Blades haven't had the opportunities to make plays like that. Even their big time players, Greaves, Turner, Hampton haven't really been able to get the same opportunities for the Blades. Webster now flying up with it, one of those players that you mentioned. Back for Janiga a chance as we apologize we couldn't get the camera turned around fast enough, but the net comes off. Again, 
Again, yes, again. 6.53 to go here in the third period. Bacaliuk will lean back in on this faceoff with Turner. Bacaliuk has gotten the better of this thus, thus far tonight, but Turner wins this battle. And Jordan Hampton ends up in her skates as she can't control the raise once again along the wall. Four players converge, and Kaylee Mercer, a co-captain, able to take it away. Banks it off the boards. Hampton cuts her off. Before Turner can get it for Greaves at the hash marks. Greaves for Leary, able to keep it momentarily. She lost control of it while she lost sight of it. Mercer working the weave drill in center. Now Brakaliuk to the center circle. To the middle, and Greaves first to it. Popped in the air by Bunton and caught out of the air by Dom. Great awareness there by Dom. Probably didn't see that shot coming. Anybody else, none of the defensemen, none of the forwards. But a great play by Dom, able to see the puck and just snagged it out of the air. Doesn't look difficult, but you can lose sight of the puck when one of your players has it on their stick and all of a sudden just bunt it out of the air right like that, right on goal. 6.16 to go. As Burns to the back wall with Myers. Myers looking for a clear out, but she gets it to the, to the near side boards. Over skating was Goldberg as Hahn will now have a chance at the ice. Goldberg taking it away from her, and sent on net and just through the crease. 5.57 to play now in the third period of action. UA on net and blocked by Kittridge. Kittridge and UA takes it away and will head to the bench for a change. Burns for Myers. Myers for Giannino and she'll get around one and get it over and across the boards. Uh, tries to get around Bercalia, good luck with that. Now two blades are out of position on the play, but a quick dump in by Ivanka will cancel that advantage. Myers, Giannino set up along the boards and she's able to get a, she's able to get a tap on it and for negate the icing as she'll come to the bench for a change. Kick him in on the four check all alone her teammates come in in reinforcement, but by that time, the Rays are already through center. Shin, and her pass for another Shin goes awry. Five minutes to go as Taryn Harris gets a chance at it. Now Wasilk whiffs on a pass, but Ng is there to take it away. Ng for Wasilk, a chance on that kicked out. Ng on the rebound gets away from her, and the Rays are going back through center again. Spent around and Kikuchi will try to chase down Janiga. Janiga first to it. Ng now along and banks off of the stick of Shin. The Ray is able to keep it momentarily. Kickham comes in in support. Now Woods taking away from the pile to the middle on net. Gloved down by Dom. Wasilk now with it. It's a break for Boston, but the team, uh, but Wasilk is the only one going forward as the blades in the middle of a change. They get caught in it. Now swirling off the wall for Sheenan. Banked out and Avison rushing at it. Avison can't get to it fast enough and she gets back on side just in time for, for Turner's rush. Off the side of the net. Turner now along the boards for Hampton. Hampton keeps it, keeping it in at the line, but now a break, a break chance here. Webster, you got Janiga and Woods behind her. Turner on the back check, takes it away and crashing into the net. And we'll stop with 3.45 to go. Oh, that hurts. That hurts, especially with Avison going up on a potential break one on one. But Grab my mind, Max. <laughs> 344 to play as the faceoff will come back to the Boston Blades side of neutral ice. We're experiencing a couple of technical difficulties with our camera tonight, but. As we shout out thanks to all the men and women in our technical crew who make my job and Sean's job a little easier. Thank you guys. Yes, thank you indeed. And girls. Yes, uh, that's why I said the men and women I in know. our technical I crew. I didn't follow your lead, my bad, Max. <laughs> that's why you should listen to me. <laughs> Leary, after the pass from Kittridge, will look for an outlet up. She finds it in Megan Greaves. Greaves going down the side with it. And Bacaliuk and Nation team up to cut her off. Giannino now off the bench once again as Bunton can't get it around Kittridge. Kittridge holds it and Leary gets away from her stick. Giannino now along the far side with three minutes to go. 
Kittredge once more to the center. Over, the, over and away from Leary. Kelly gets it around her only as far as Burns. Kittredge once again banks it off the boards and will find the waiting stick of Nei Shin. Zhao Nei Shin last played for Team China in the 2014-15 season with the CCOA, the D1B, and now on net. Off the shoulder of Dom and over the cage. Shot came from Fang Shin. An eighth round pick by Vanka in this past year's draft. Zaniga for Shin. Now Sivar Oliva wide of the net. Spin around as the Rays have not ceded control of this game since they scored that first goal. Back for Sheena. Wind and fire that banks Ooh. off the post. Banked off of Leary before it could get there. Everyone lost track of it. And it was almost 5 nothing like that. Yeah. Dom had no idea that puck was coming. Neither did I, really. <laughs> I, think ev I think everyone lost sight of it. Yeah. A penalty coming up. And this will be a late power play. A slashing call upcoming. I mean, I had a perfect vantage point for that shot. I saw a straight line heading for that corner. It looked like post all the way, but I thought there might be a chance that ricochets down into the net. As it'll be Kong Ming Hu, the rookie out of, Ch out of China, seven year national with the Chinese national team, a 12th round pick this year. She'll sit in the box, but with four seconds separating the penalty and the game clock, this is more just a chance to scratch the scoreboard for Boston. Casey Brugman not, not being kind about it, he'll send out his top unit. Ng pushes it forward over into the states of Woods, setting up the power play through Hall and Caitlin Sperling. Megan Myers with it behind the net. In the office for Ng. Ng to the top of the circle. In comes center point, now Hampton as they switch places. Hampton on net and off of Mercer's arm in front of the net and out of the zone as it's Ng will chase. Jordan Hampton now as Caitlin Sperling over the line on side. Sperling gets around Berkaliuk. Runs out of real estate, gets it from Myers. Myers will emerge from behind the goal line. She'll cut to the middle, looking for a shooting lane with Bunton all over her. Now back, Myers keeps it. Hampton Ooh. whiffs at a six by four to shoot at, and the puck was going a little fast. A great idea there to set up Hampton. Right at the hash mark too, great idea. Myers now for Sperling. Under 60 seconds and the blades are offside. Sperling hammers it anyway. Whistle came a little late for her to hold up on the shot. Fuck went wide anyways. <laughs> no harm, no foul. I guess. One minute, two seconds in the penalty, but there are only 57 seconds in the period left to play. Webster, as Vanko just playing out the string of a 4 nothing decision thus far, held in at the line by Avison. As Giannino and her try to team up to keep it in, they cannot. Burns, the blades are back on side. They'll enter the zone once again. Goldberg holding up Webster at the blue line. Avison cutting to the middle with some space on net, and Giannino can't get the tip. 28 seconds to play in this third period of action. Giannino can't find a pass, spins away from pressure of Chinan. Up for Turner. Turner coming in toward the zone, shot toward Chuli, and she will swallow it. Final 16 seconds of this one. You're just trying to throw everything on net, see if maybe you can get something past Shuli to make it a three goal deficit. And Casey Brugman will pull Lauren Dom and send out Aaron Kickham. So a brief six on four for Boston. As Gineo pushes his face off forward, Goldberg can't get it. Mercer held in at the line by Turner. Burns looking for a chance. Now Burns it gets back and just in over the line, Mercer with it, she'll send it toward the empty net wide. Three seconds to go, and Turner will possess for the final buzzer. A weekend sweep for the Vanka Rays. They move to a record of four and one with eight standings points, moving ahead of the Markham Thunder. That drops the Blades now down to 0, 6 and one on the year. One point on the season. Came against these Vanka Rays, but you got to feel like this is a missed opportunity for the Boston Blades. And this will be the last home game of the 2017 calendar half of the season. The next time that we see you, it's going to be 2018. And it'll be against, I'm forgetting now. Why am I forgetting? 
it's a long time. It's, it's, a, time it's a very right. long time from now. The next day, next games for the Blades will be against Calgary on American Thanksgiving weekend, followed by a two-game trip to Markham, and then the trip to China over the weeks before Christmas. So a lot of games left to play in the season. That's the bright spot to pull out of this. Team doesn't look like it's all there right now, but there's plenty of time to put something together and find your identity and what you want to do on the ice. For Sean McLean, I'm Max Walpa as, as we give you a last look at the Blades saluting their home fans in front of Lawrence Larson Rink crowd for the last time in 2017. We'll see you in 2018 on Boston Blades YouTube. I'm Max Walpuff saying have a great night and we'll see you next time.